everybody! So for today I wanted to show you one of my all-time favourite books ever in existence. It was published in 1871 and it's called Dr Syntax in Search of the Picturesque. I'll make this flat a shaggy ridge and over there I'll throw a bridge. I'll do as other sketches do and put anything into view and any object recollect to add grace and give effect. Thus, though I from truth happily err, the scene preserves its character. What man of taste, my right, will doubt to put things in or leave them out? Tis more than a right, tis a duty if we consider landscape beauty. He never will as an artist shine who copies nature line by line. Whoever from nature takes a view must copy and improve it too. To heighten every work of art, fancy should take an active part. Thus I, which I think few can boast, have made a landscape from a post. It's clear in this passage that Syntax was adding elements into his view to make the picture more picturesque. He was adding moss and bridges and shaggy ridges, he said. So why was he doing that? And what is the picturesque? In 1770, Reverend William Gilpin began his own grand tour. A man with a sketchbook writing a guide for tourists on how to make the most of their land governed by the rules of the picturesque. It was part of the growing romanticism of the 18th century. In England, the word was used from 1703 onwards. There are three ideas that make up a great composition. The first is beauty, illustrating the classical and rational. The second is Edmund Burke's sublime, illustrating power and terror. And the picturesque, illustrating the rough, irrational and irregularity of form in colour and light. Gilpin's work was in opposition to the 18th century Grand Tour, proving that rural Britain could compete with the European expeditions of classical antiquity. While the book that I own was published in 1871, the story itself came out in 1812 and was written by a man called William Combe. Combe would write three satirical novels based on Gilpin, and the first would be titled Dr Syntax in Search of the Picturesque. With the popularity of that book, he would go on to write two more. All three stories are written in Cantor. Thomas Rowlandson is the illustrator of these wonderful books. In my copy, you can see that there is a handwritten dedication from 1871. Britons went out in search of the picturesque, guided by Gilpin's instructions. They would often try and make the most of their rural landscape. This would compete with the European Grand Tour, where tourists were in search of the classical antiquity. Domestic tourism became increasingly popular with the rise of the middle class. People would frequently visit the places like the lakes to find the picturesque view. Think of it akin to the Instagrammers of today, trying to find that insta-worthy picture. In the case of Dr Syntax, his search for the picturesque was motivated by wanting to write a book to raise income for his family. I'll make a tour and then I'll write it. You well know what my pen can do, and I'll employ my pencil too. I'll ride and write and sketch and print and thus create a real mint. I'll pose it here and verse it there and picturesque it everywhere. I'll do what all have done before. I think I shall and somewhat more. At Dr Pompus give a look. He made his fortune by a book. And if my volume does not beat it, when I return, I'll fly and eat it. In his quest for the picturesque, Syntax found himself getting involved in a variety of mishaps, from being mugged, to being charged other prices than in, to being chased by a bull. Just look at Canto 6. The next morning at an early hour, Syntax proceeded his tour, and as he sauntered on his way, the scene of a many youthful day, he thought would give his book an air if Oxford were painted over there. And as he curious looked around, he saw a spot of rising ground, from whence the turrets of the city would make the picture very pretty, where Radcliffe's storm would intervene and Magdalen's tower crown the scene. A wicked bull no sooner viewed him than loud he roared and straight pursued him. The doctor, finding danger near, flew swiftly on the wings of fear and nimbly clambered up a tree that gave him full security. But as he ran to save his bacon, by hat and wig he was forsaken. His sketchbook too he left behind, a prey to the unlucky wind. While Grizzle, startled by the rout, broke from the hedge and pranced about, Syntax, still trembling with affright, clung to the tree with all his might. He called for help, and help was near, for dogs and men and boys appear. So that his foe was forced to yield and leave him master of the field, no more roaring of bulls of prey, he left the trees protecting shade, and as he packed the meadow round, his hat, his wig, his book he found. Come on, old girl, the doctor said, the faithful steed, the call obeyed. So Grizzle once more, he bestrode, nor looked behind, but off he rode. So this is the end of the video, and... I'm really glad that I was able to share this book with you because like I said it is one of my favourites. Um, 
I haven't finished it all yet, I've still got the other two novels to do, basically they're just continuations of the story from the first one, as they were so so popular that Cohn decided to carry on writing this uh, this little story of Dr Syntax and I am excited to, you know, finally, now that university's over, get into it and, and be able to actually read it and, and, and really, really enjoy it, because I have so far. I just think Cohn's mastery of poetry is just, just amazing, and Thomas Rawlinson's um, illustrations as well are just divine, absolutely divine. Um, so yes, I'm, like, once again, I'm so glad that I've been able to share this with you and that I have my own, my own books as well, my own little collection. I love it so, so, so much. Um, so the question I wanted to leave you with is, do you think people still go in search of the picturesque um, in the modern age? Do you think those Instagram worthy pictures are somewhat of the picturesque appetite or do you think we've moved away from that aesthetic and now we're exploring other things so thank you for watching and i will catch you later